Okay, this is uh, Jay Hawk Scott, and today I want to talk to you about something that I hadn't really given a whole lot of thought to, um, but I'd always been very, very frustrated by, and, and that was temperature, water temperature. Um, within my system, I've got an apex system, and, and I'm monitoring my temperature using my apex, and you know, in addition to temperature monitor, of course I monitor conductivity and um, my pH. Well, when you get a new pH probe or periodically you will will check your your pH and recalibrate it and you would check your conductivity and, and recalibrate it. Um, but you know I never had really calibrated my my temperature and I've got a chiller on both my uh, uh, quarantine, my main display tank, and my water change system, and each one of those has a temperature monitor in it. And and incorrectly, and and just stupid on my part, I just I guess made the assumption that what the apex was telling me for temperature was correct, and so I would would modify the reading of my chillers to match that of the probes from the apex and and frequently these could be one to even almost two degrees off one and a half degrees off and so I just went ahead and said okay what the apex is telling me is right and I'd use that as my basis but there was always a part of me that always wondered you know how accurate that was and so you know you can get a, a little just a basic submergible thermometer like this and or you can buy a little cheap Coralife digital thermometer and the problem was with this thing well you've got a range on here from what 35 degrees to 120 degrees and so the little green area which is where you want to operate on in a fish tank is so small it's really not even possible to tell exactly what your temperature is. You can say it's okay, it's between 77 and 79 degrees, but you know that, that's that's quite a variance. And and so, <clears throat> if you want to know more accurately, you go out and you get yourself a digital thermometer. And this one reads 76.8. This little Coral Life digital thermometer. And so. Uh, I started trying to to make sure that all my temperatures agreed, and I use this as my basis for um, my th my temperature. But these things are cheap, and inevitably they fall in the fish tank, and uh, and then once they fall in the fish tank, they're it's just a matter of time they won't work. So you buy another one, and you get another one here, and you plop it in the tank, and it's off, you know, half a degree, and you're like, well that doesn't make a lot of sense and so these things are cheap and they're not really very accurate um, if you have the same thermometer I guess it can give you an idea how much temperature has changed but the problem is, is I don't know that you're real confident that um, the starting point is accurate so and you can't read this so what do you do well what I did is I went out and I got myself this this is a a Cooper um, thermostat and this thing has been calibrated and it is to be accurate within 0.2 degrees and for fish tank purposes that's close enough and it's just you can use this actually in your kitchen and stuff like that it's just a you know little pick you stick it in there um, but it is NSF certified and so this thing I got off of um, Amazon and I think it was 30 bucks and so for 30 bucks I'm able to put to bed what my real temperature is and um, I, what I found was my display tank temperature my sump tank temperature and um, my uh, quarantine system not my quarantine system my new saltwater my saltwater mixing station temperature they were all off every one of them the, the chillers none of them were close were right and some of them were upwards of a degree some of them were uh, you know half a degree but but every one of them was was different and every one of them was outside the margin of error of this thing so um, and this thing is super super easy to use I mean it's just it's like any other thermometer but 
in this case I just like I'll put it here in this water just turn it on and uh, um, as you can see this thing is reading I don't know if you can read that it's it's but it is reading 76.4 degrees and I pull it out it, it adjusts because it, it actually centers out very quickly um, 76.4 but this is reading 76.8 and that actually to be honest has been as close as I've seen um, the last one of these that I had um, what I had based all of my my temperature on um, I was it was uh, about a half a degree different than this one so and it was off the same direction so in in essence when I thought I was at 77 degrees I was really almost at 78 degrees and is that a big deal yeah, not a big deal but you know when you're trying to be precise about things um, it's always nice to know exactly where you're at so um, if you want to be anal about it get go out get yourself a real thermometer that's going to give you an accurate accurate measurement and from that you can adjust and calibrate and change your calibration on all your chillers all your um, apex probes this thing you can't change it is what it is um, and it's cheap and it is what it is so but like I say, I, I think I would, it, to me it was worth it, 30 bucks to know that we included shipping and it didn't, and so I, I was happy for 30 bucks to know exactly what my temperature was. So, um, take it for what it's worth, but uh, uh, I think I'll end this video there, but uh, if you've got any questions for me, uh, please don't hesitate to, to write me a little note, and I'll, I'll try to put a, a link uh, in the description of this video to where I got this thermometer and uh, um, so just want to say thanks again to all my subscribers all my longtime subscribers and want to welcome all my new subscribers and uh, any questions or comments please don't hesitate to um, to send me a note and if you like my videos please click that like button uh, I, I would appreciate that and uh, this is Jayhawk Scott signing out